Recently, we produced an updated PEA, the project, where we highlight the potential for a Wilka to be a top 10 global zinc producer, the largest in South America after Antamina, which is a huge mine. Uh, there is excellent exploration potential also to continue expanding the resources at AWIL. Hello to viewers tuning into this edition of Assay TV. We're catching up with Tinker Resources today, and I'm delighted to be speaking with Graham Carmen, who's President, CEO, and Director of the company. And Tinker's advancing some critical metals projects in Peru, which we're going to hear all about. So, welcome, Graham. Hi, Adam. Nice to be here. Yeah, thanks for taking time to speak with us. So um, perhaps for viewers who are new to the Tinker stories, this is the first video we've done with you. Uh, please give us uh, the top line uh, rundown of, of the company. Well, Tink Tinker is an exploration development company uh, with a focus on its Awuka project, Zinc Silver 10 project in central Peru, which we discovered several years ago. We're advancing the project really very well. We recently, we produced an updated PEA for the project, where we highlight the potential for A. Wilka to be a top 10 global zinc producer, the largest in South America after Antamina, which is a huge mine. Uh, there's excellent exploration potential also to continue expanding the resources at A. Wilka. Yep. Excellent. Um, so let's talk about um, A. Wilka and um, some of the attributes of that property before we can go into perhaps the PEA as well. Uh, you know, it's situated in a good position, great asset. Can you tell a bit more to the viewers? Well, um, we've got a, a global zinc resource or zinc silver resource, um, indicated and inferred resources. There's 19 million tonnes of indicated resources at uh, around 7.5% zinc equivalent, and 48 million tonnes of, of inferred resources, about 6% zinc equivalent. So it is one of the largest undeveloped zinc dominant resources in the world, by, and, and that includes anybody. Mm. Um, apart from the zinc, there's also a tin zone, a separate tin resource. Uh, it's around, um, just let me check the numbers there, it's 8.4 million tonnes at around 1% tin. Now, tin is really important uh, metal also, critical metal, uh, along with zinc and, and silver. So um, we, we're covering a few bases here at Tinker. Plus we've got a, a, a separate silver resource at Colky Pulcro, around 25 million ounces of silver and resources. So um, we've been growing these resources in the last few years, um, but, but we're focusing on the zinc zone. That's the world-class scale deposit. And as I mentioned, top 10 potential global zinc producer uh, PEA um, MPV at dollar twenty zinc was four hundred and thirty million dollars post tax US. So it's it's already a significant project, and we believe there's a lot more potential yet to continue to expand and improve the project. Yeah, excellent. Um, so so what is the strategy then for doing that? You know, the PEAs put you in a great position, obviously, but what's the what are the next steps to sort of really bring this uh, project um, towards development? Okay, so the plans for next year are to continue to drill um, in 2022 to continue to uh, expand the high-grade resources. So at South A. Walker, we've got a, a resource there of about, um, on the indicated scale, we've got 9 million tonnes at, at around 8% zinc. We believe that high-grade resource that we've been mined in the early days can continue to be expanded and grown on. So we're going to focus on expanding the resources there and as well as doing some infill holes and, uh, and just improving the, the quality of the resource uh, in, in, in other parts of the project, um, just to continue to improve and, and increase the confidence of the resource. Mm -hmm. And as well as that, we're, we're looking at um, advancing with some of the longer term engineering and permitting um, parts of the property that, that take time in Peru. So we're going to continue to advance those. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting year in 2022. We, we're planning it to be on, on, uh, on drilling more resources and de-risking some of the uh, resources that we currently have. Yep, certainly. Um, and just zooming out, what's, what's the situation um, of, of the site you know, within Peru? Um, you're quite close to Lima, but how's the environment there within that province? And you know, infrastructurally, you know, thinking of a down when this can become a, a mine, um, how's it going to sit? 
Okay, Adam, thanks for that question. We, we're located in a mining belt. Central Peru is one of the world's largest mining belts for, for base metals. Mm. We're 200 kilometers from Lima and only 150 kilometers from the coast. And there's a road that's currently being paved that goes right past the property. And we've got power lines that go right over the property um, that we can access. Uh, there's good water uh, access in central Peru, unlike, say, in uh, southern Peru and northern Chile. Uh, central Peru has a lot of rainfall during the wet season. So there's lots of water around. And, um, and there's a smelter. Um, Nexa, who is one of our partners, has a smelter just outside of Lima. And the intention is to, is to send all of, the, uh, all of our concentrates, our zinc concentrates, to that particular smelter near Lima. We will also produce ultimately a, a, lead, a lead silver concentrate, uh, but the, the main concentrate will be the zinc, uh, which will go to the local smelter. And so excellent infrastructure surrounded by mines and, um, and also some important strategic partners, Adam, in the project. Yeah, certainly. Tell us about Nexa and also um, Buenaventura, I read, uh, is also one of these strategic partners. There's some real advantages to leverage there. Absolutely. So Buenaventura uh, have been a partner of ours, a shareholder since um, early 2020, just before COVID started. And, um, and Buenaventura owned the nearest mine uh, to A. Wilka at Uchichagua. It's only 15 kilometres away, is the crow flies. And um, and they're a 19% shareholder. Um, Nexa, uh, they have been a shareholder in Tinkers since early 2021. They're a 9% shareholder. Um, they they also have mines in the region, uh, um, the El Porvenir Atacocha mines, some of the largest zinc mines in the country. In fact, Nexa is, in fact, the largest zinc producer in the country uh, with the smelter, and they've got three mines, and, in fact, the fourth largest zinc producer in the world. So... We've got two of the largest um, local mining companies partnering with us. They see the potential for the project. Um, this is going to be a mine, we believe. At, 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 you know, it's just a question of time, and we're and they're helping us advance the project to to get us to get the project there to be able to mine as soon as we can. Excellent. Um, you've also got the other um, property, uh, Sylvia, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. It's copper and gold. Tell us about. Um, What's uh, the status there? Well, Sylvia is an early stage exploration property. It's uh, an exciting discovery, which we made um, a couple of months ago um, in the, in the uh, last quarter of 2021. Um, it's a property that we bought from BHP uh, early in 2021. And um, our geologists uh, have, have been, uh, in fact, they're up on site at the moment and we're, and we're taking samples as we speak and we'll continue to take samples for the rest of 2021. We've, uh, we've uncovered some really high-grade uh, gold and silver mineralisation, mm -hmm. uh, never before sampled, um, outcropping its surface uh, over several hundred metres by, uh, by a, approximately 100 metres wide. There's a window in a valley, in the, in the base of a valley, which exposes, exposes these rocks. Mm -hmm. And the guys have been scraping away the, the surface scree and finding samples grading 12% copper up to 18 grams of tonne gold. And uh, fairly recently, we announced a, a trench, um, 46 metres at nearly two grams of tonne gold um, within this base of this valley with a lot of scree uh, hiding, hiding the outcrop. There was one part of the trench which went six metres at 12 grams and through nearly 3% copper. So it's a really high grade mineralization, brand new, uh, really exciting. So um, in parallel to A. Wilker, which is obviously much more advanced, um, Sylvia mm -hmm. is a very early stage, but high potential copper gold property. And again, um, Tinker has a number of metals that are really important for the, uh, for the energy revolution and, uh, and, and, the, and the green kind of change that we're going through. Um, you know, towards sustainable, um, clean mining and, and, uh, and battery-driven technology. So it's an exciting time for Tinker. We have um, really strong partnerships, um, own the project 100%. We've got good cash position. There's no debt in the company. Um, really strong team down here in Peru. I'm currently in Peru. I've been here for the last two months um, helping the guys move these projects forward. We've got a fantastic team down here. So yeah, that's. I, I really encourage people to take a close look at uh, at Tinker. Yeah, certainly. Um, and just to sort of touch on uh, the company financials, you mentioned there you've got 
uh, no doubt, which is a great position to be in. But um, mm -hmm. um, what's the capital structure like now? You you finance a lot of the um, exist the upcoming uh, exploration and drilling work, right? That's that's right. So currently, the company has around ten million uh, Canadian in cash. Um, so we're in a good position there. Um, we've got three hundred forty million shares issued and outstanding. Uh, the market cap of the company is around seventy million Canadian. Uh, mm. We're listed on the uh, TSXV, uh, also in the Lima Stock Exchange, um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, there's there's no warrants on on issue. Um, so it's a, it's a clean company, uh, well positioned to take advantage of the of the current cycle. Uh, well, Graham, yeah, that's excellent rundown of the company. Thanks very much for providing the updates. It looks like you're in a strong position, and I hope you continue that, that trajectory in early 2022. Thanks very much, Adam. I look forward to coming back early next year with an update. Thanks very much to everybody. Tinkerresources.com. See you soon. Excellent. Thanks for speaking with us, ATV. Thanks, Adam.